Hey everyone, Roma here and I hope you're doing well. Welcome back on my channel. Today I want to talk about the 10 most crazy Formula 1 records. But before we start, as always, please subscribe, like, leave a comment, everything that you know to do. First crazy record, the number of podiums during one season. Any idea who that can be? It was in 2021, there were 22 races and Lewis Hamilton scored 18 podiums out of 22 races. There's only four races that he wasn't on the podium. Even though he didn't win the championship in 2021, 18 podiums out of 22 races is absolutely outstanding. I'm not sure that record is going to be beaten. I mean, there's more and more races per year, so yes, there's more chances. But 18 out of 22 is very impressive. Crazy fact number two, who was the youngest Formula One world champion? An old was he? It was 23 years old, four months and 11 days. He's been four-time world champion with his first world champion in 2010. That's Sebastian Vettel, who was world champion in 2010, 11, 12, and 13. Four world title in a row. I was lucky to be racing Sebastian during some of that time. What a driver. He's retiring at the end of the year. And um, yeah, youngest Formula One champion ever. Um, again, that's gonna be a tough one to break. I think Fernando was the one before, but uh, 23 years, four months, 11 days, that's... Uh, they want to beat. Driver who has the most Grand Prix in Formula 1. Now I'm gonna do the video, but I'm gonna be outdated very soon. It's Kimi Raikkonen and Fernando Alonso with 350 Grand Prix in Formula 1. Kimi stayed in Formula 1 for 20 years. Fernando is one in and out, uh, but he's probably gonna be here for quite a bit. Uh, and he's the one, he's gonna be the one uh, in Singapore with the most Grand Prix started in Formula 1 with 351. But right now he's on the tie with Kimi Raikkonen, so I thought I was going to uh, go and, uh, and bring that stats here, even though it will uh, be changed very soon. The highest number of spectators at one GP. Which Grand Prix can it be and how many people? That's the stat number four. And it was the US GP in 2021 with 400,000 spectators. Before that, it was UK with 351,000 spectators. It's not on one day, it's on the three days of the Grand Prix, but that's 125 or 133 actually per day for the US Grand Prix in 2021. I believe Vegas in 2023 is gonna be the one with the biggest attendance, but uh, we'll have to wait till the end of 2023 to know that. Youngest Formula One Grand Prix driver. And that record won't be beaten because now you need to be 18 years to attend or to have the super license. So that's Max Verstappen. Max was 17 years and 166 days at the 2015 Australian Grand Prix. He's also the youngest driver ever to score points as he did that two weeks after his first Grand Prix. So that record is set in stone unless the rules change, but I don't think it will. So the youngest uh, Grand Prix driver, youngest driver to score points are always pretty much gonna be Max Verstappen. Now we're talking of the youngest, who, is, who was the oldest uh, Formula One driver? And that's Louis Chiron. He was 55 years, nine months, 19 days when he won the 1955 Monaco GP. And he set on his own race uh, a record on that day, uh, 55 years plus. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Again, don't think that one will be beaten at uh, different times, but it's good to know that uh, at 36 years old, I've still got plenty of time to go racing. Fastest top speed. Top speed is always a question I'm being asked. How fast do you go? We don't know. But the fastest top speed in Formula One car was set uh, during the 2016 Mexico GP. Why Mexico? Because Mexico is more than 2,000 meters of altitude. And that altitude, density altitude, which is the density of the air, is much lower than at sea level. And therefore, there's much less drag in the car. There's less cooling. Uh, there's a little bit less power for the engine. But no, with the V6 hybrid, you've got the electric engine, the turbo engine. So you actually don't lose that much power at altitude and that was 372.5 kilometers an hour that's 231 miles an hour it's not as fast as any car on oval but it's pretty fast and yes mexican mexico I mean, the mexican gp is pretty much always going to be the one that the car goes the fastest just because of that drag reduction due to the altitude youngest driver to win a gp surprise surprise max verstappen again 18 years seven months 15 days at the spanish grand prix in barcelona for his first race with red bull actually back in 2017 and the funny fact he was just uh, seven months old enough to open a bottle of champagne. Uh, if he was under 18, he wouldn't have been able to drink champagne on the podium. And uh, for your first win, that, uh, that sucks a little bit. So luckily enough, he was above 18 and was able to drink champagne. If he was in the Dicardo, he wouldn't have been able to uh, drink champagne as he need to be above 21 year old to uh, drink alcohol in the States. But in Europe, 18 years 
and seven months was old enough to enjoy champagne for his first out of many Formula One wins. The most world championship for one driver? Well, that's an easy one. I guess you guessed it already. Michael Schumacher and Lewis Hamilton with seven world title each. Pretty an amazing number. Lewis currently, I mean, not in 2022, but why not in 2023? Could go for eight world champions, was very close in 2021. So uh, there's open, there's definitely an opening here to get uh, a driver with more than seventh world championship. But right now it's a tie between Lewis Hamilton and Michael Schumacher. Fastest pit stop in F1 history? Well, if you have seen the video about uh, the difference between pit stop in Formula One and IndyCar, that's a good start. I don't think I gave you the number there. It was made by Red Bull in one second and 82 hundreds. 1.8, yeah, 1.82 seconds. So one second, eight tenths and two hundredths. Yeah, that's correct. Sorry, I got lost here. Uh, but 1.82 seconds, imagine when you want to change a winter tire. If you leave somewhere that's snow in the winter and they ask you for four hours to change the tire, well, just tell them Formula 1 can do it in 1.82 seconds. So there's no excuse there. <laughs> no, don't do that, it's gonna get bad. Um, but yes, I mean, that is that is absolutely 1.82 seconds. That one, that, there you go, off you go. Absolutely stunning. Um, the rules change a bit since then, so they, they, it's a little bit slower now, they've got bigger wheels, but still, uh, they go fast. But that was, that 1.82 seconds was just, it was just insane. I remember seeing it live, I was like, did they even change a the tire there? Um, and yes, they did. So uh, congrats to the Red Bull team on that one. Well, I think that's it for today. Uh, that's some, some pretty good stats. I'm sure there were some that you knew, uh, that I knew, some that I had to go on Google to make sure that I had them right. But out of 10, I think I knew seven, six, seven. Maybe eight. So it wasn't too bad. Uh, let me know how much you knew. I didn't know about Louis Chiron, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I wasn't sure about the exact age of Max Verstappen on his different uh, record. I knew it was him. But let me know how you did on that, uh, that quiz and I'll see you very soon for more. Thank you, bye-bye.